we need to do it here. We need, right you want, now, right now. Right uh, now. now? Yeah, after, as we, when we wrap yes. up the show. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And Mike must be in it. Yes. Mike yes. must, he should yes. be in it. Yes. Sweeter, are you ready. willing to do the Kiki challenge? The, the, yes. I'm yes, I'm ready to do <laughs> <laughs> and run after. But, but, but here's the thing, the internet has a funny way of changing everything to being challenged, especially here in Kenya. Like when the sugar issue happened, okay, when you were away, Kenyans were having the issue of, uh, we were drinking mercury, mercury, mercury Mara lead, Mara That's copper. That's good because mercury is used for thermometers, so you drink that and then you just know your temperature the whole day. Uh -huh. <laughs> so while you were in <laughs> Russia, you were drinking <laughs> sugar. Like degrees, yeah? <laughs> I need to go and see the doctor. Yeah, so very good. Well, that yeah, was yeah. happening, Kenyans decide to make it a challenge again. <laughs> we, here's the thing with yeah. Kenyans. We make everything a challenge. <laughs> challenge. All right? Yeah. But this was a proper challenge. The Kiki by Drake was a proper challenge. What did you think of it? I'll start with you, Steph. I mean, um, it, it, it's gone viral and everybody's doing the Kiki. And I don't think we, we necessarily need to just dub what they dub as good and all that. Mm -hmm. I think Kenya has a very hilarious way of picking everything, which is even bad to make it look good. And I think that's something I like about, you know, Kenyans on Twitter and all that, that at a point when our nation is hurt with corruption and everything, we get happy about that. Mm -hmm. And I'm so sure even as we do the challenge here, we'll make somebody happy about a Kenyan, you know, ride on it and, you know, run on it kind of a... <laughs> <great thing. laughs> and we're ready to do that right Boy, now. your thoughts? That song, when it was released, uh, in my feelings, just that same day, it was number one. Wow. It was the first On single. YouTube, what's trending. Yes. Yes. And also on Billboard Top 200, the song was number one. Yes. So Drake is on his own level. He's on point. 2018 yes. Drake. And this, this just comes after the one God's plan. Mm. And it's so popular. So God's plan was a beautiful song. It's a big thing. Now. I want to sample the whole Scorpion album mm. and, and, and see what he oh. has in store. All right. So well, we, the internet is busy doing the Kiki challenge. Here in Kenya, we're facing a different challenge. Now you cannot visit. OK, <laughs> one, 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 just one. Um, hotel, um, the Sunshine one, which has taken made headlines. <laughs> Smita, well, you can you can only visit that hotel only, especially if you're married. You have to come with your marriage certificate. Now that has raised a lot of questions. First of all, if it was to become law, is it doable? Number two, there's the aspect of also if you go to the airport, you have to carry your passport. Smita, your thoughts on this? I just think those are, that's in Kericho, yes? Yes. I think those people drank tea with the mercury. Yeah? <laughs> it because you too can't much. explain it. Yeah, like me, really, yeah? Yeah, just have tea with mercury. Because what is that? No, it's yeah? just because Kenyans... Yeah, because so you're supposed to only have coital relationships eh, with the people who you have been to a church to. What are they trying to tell us? <laughs> you don't know how the population and pleasure levels in Kenya would drop. Eh? That's, that's the problem. Yes. It lasts in yeah? Kenya, so they're trying to control it. Eh? <laughs> no, but you can't control these things. Eh? Because, you know, you'll start getting very annoyed about Riru. Eh? Mm. <laughs> eh? and, and what you have not yet gotten married, eh? Eh? let's say, Bado Japata, your certificate, like in Umeenda Kiricho, Pengine Okona, Bibiwako, Pengine Kakina Una Makaratas. So are you supposed to go camping? Steven, <laughs> we, we, we know this, this happens in a lot of those Muslim countries. And yes. mm -hmm. I mean, but not here, not Kericho or yes. those places. Yes. And again, I, I found a lot of ignorance in the way, you know, the staff and those guys would handle those guys. Because that was the truth anyway. Because this is somebody who is so in public uh, domain. And so you know their people. And so when you tell me, I am Stevens, you know my wife, or you'd know my wife, you just take a second to Google. And then you say, produce marriage certificates. Really, you're saying, can you show me the cows you took to your in-laws and that? I, I, I don't think that should be really in Kenya. And I don't think at such an age and time, when these are not kids, these are not under 18s. I mean, why should you tell me to produce? Am I carrying my marriage certificate everywhere I'm going in the world? Like, even as I drink tea in an hotel? Yes, yeah. All right, before yeah. I get Boyer's thoughts, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when former US President Barack Obama was in Kenya, um, fans had a lot to say, especially on matters conjugal. So take a look at this before we get back and hear comments from Boyer. I have um, a few people here. I'll just get to their reaction and sample them. And uh, what the, probably the, the visit uh, to, of Obama to the country means to them. So, were you able to go to the airport or not? And uh, how do you find uh, the, 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 the live transmission right here? Yeah, uh, I, my name is Philip Manasse. I wake up early in the morning at uh, 6 to, to go to airport so that we can see Obama. 
And when Obama came, Obama was very good and jovial. He took, he took a little time. That time was very conjugal. He took a little time, 10 to 20 minutes, and he briefed our governor, our beloved governor, Professor Peter Nyang Nyongo. After that, they left. But and we are we are we are very congratulating. We are very congratulative to our governor for bringing the live feeds. So we cannot reach there, all of us. But if it, it is here, then we are very jolly and we are thankful for our governor, Professor Peter Nyang Nyong, and his deputy, Matthew Makowili. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Called your boy. I think maybe he was trying to say he, uh, he was happy. Yeah, I think the one he wanted was convival. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Called your boy was the word happy. Like, <laughs> no, I've said of pleasure. Yeah, you must have known some of these words like, that Co is like conjugal. Eh? And that word is convival. <laughs> so he went for conjugal. conjugal. Yes. Uh, Obama. Boyo. Yes. We don't have to speak uh, very fancy English, things we do not know how to make a sentence of code comprehend. Let's just stick to Swahili, Sheng, mix all that, and we are good. Instead of putting conjugal in a very simple sentence. Uh huh. Yes. All right. Uh, speaking of which, uh, there was one Kenyan who uh, decided to marry the Cuban doctors. Kenyans are fast. You guys saw that? I'm not, yes. I'm not, I'm not sure it was a marry Cuban doctor and all that. The Kenyan who might I, I think there's another challenge that we're really to see about Kenyans and Cuban doctors and all that. So, well, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. I, I would pose with Boyo and challenge you and say, I'm with a Cuban doctor. doctor. You know, she looks it's like it's one it's of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you want and, an and again, I think we go back Ouch. to the way Kenyans speak their humor and, and make it viral and all that. I saw it, I laughed. Cuban doctors, of course, they're welcomed here. If you find place in home, among the men, among the women, why not? No, but those okay. Louis are think, very fast. Think, Let me tell you, those Cubans are very starved. Eh? You know, they had Castro, then they had communism. So if you are a very fast uh, Muluya, unamkuza eh? kama kuku. <laughs> yeah, you can injection. I also have my hypodermic syringe. I think that's what happened to the Cuban. But now she realizes it's too late. Yeah. I was expecting this to happen the other way around. I was expecting for the men to be taken very fast and not the women. Uh -huh. But you it's going to happen. I was expecting the men to be gone by now. But None, none of the Cuban good doctors who came in will go back. Okay. Yes. So they're uh, just Kenyans. Yeah. I know. Yeah, Boyo. So none Boyo of them will go has back. plans for a Cuban. <laughs> Boyo is marrying a Cuban doctor. <laughs> Cuban doctors in Kenya are not safe because chapter Boyo, the irresistible, is on your case. <laughs> All right, speaking of resistible, the reason why Smito is so excited is that he's back from Russia. And at a time like this last week, everyone around the world was betting who would win. Was it France or Croatia? Of course, we saw France win 4 2. But if there's someone, who became the headline of this World Cup 2018? Yes, it was in Kiel and Bappe, who, by the way, did fantastic, and the whole mom issue was lovely. But the Croatian president, she was the headline of this World Cup 2018. Whether you like it or admit it or not, take a look.